Alright. Why I may never get over Nate Dogg's death, even though it's been almost a year. When I first heard of Nate Dogg, it was from songs such as Next Episode and 50 Cent 21 Questions. I never realized he had a solo career that was better than I even thought. I started listening to his older tracks. Yeah, it was pretty damn dope. It was great. The soul and rhythm was smooth. He had a voice legitimately irreplaceable by even, even R&B singers like R. Kelly and Akon. Unlike other rappers that rap about crime and street life, Nate was able to sing, but he barely rapped. This was because he had soul. And even though he barely rapped, it was damn true. He was more ill than any rapper. I started getting into Nate Dogg close to a year before his death. I kind of stopped listening to him for a while. Then once I got hooked back, I found out it was too late. Nate Dogg had died and the soulful West Coast defunct songs he created was gone. I couldn't believe it. Nate Dogg died? Why? It was awful. And the only thing I could even think of at that time was a song Never Leave Me Alone. Which put a huge tear in my eye. I can't even explain why. But I couldn't ever leave him alone. And that song to me was his goodbye he sent out. When I heard it again shortly after his death, Nate Dog had a lot of health issues. When I heard it again shortly after his death, I kinda messed up. But before Nate Dog was dead, he had a lot of health issues with his voice and wasn't even singing the last few years and months of his life. He was getting, he was going to therapy and one of his homes was being for clothes. Snoop Dogg, who was Nate Dogg's cousin, made a fundraiser to support his children. It almost was like Satan was stealing something great from us. Nate Dogg's assault estate has been sued about a few days ago from when this video was posted because Nate Dogg apparently owed money posthumously. In my opinion, leave the poor man alone. He's dead. Give him a break. He can't fight for himself. It's just stuff like this that pisses me off all the time. Definitely doesn't seem that Satan purposely took away Nate Dogg. Almost like he was jealous that Nate Dogg was so special. I cannot take how much of a shame it is that we lost Nate Dogg. It's plain awful. Just how he died and how special he really was. It's a damn shame. I just want to say. I just want to say. I think next year for Halloween, I'm going to pay respects to my man Nate. I'm going to wear a blue bandana and a signature swag, just to remember and so on is how important he was. Thanks for watching my message. From Joe DeFritis. It's me, Mario!